Hello everyone, Crystal Vision here. Today we are looking at Pippo Saru 2001, a Japanese exclusive Ape Escape game. Sort of almost in a way Ape Escape 1.5 uh, actually contains story stuff that ends up being brought up in the beginning of Ape Escape 2. Of Ape Escape 2. So, let's take a look at it, shall we? I got this from Amazon, very cheap, actually not that expensive. Probably a you know newer copy would be a lot more expensive, but yeah. On the side here we've got Pippo Saru 2001. Okay, and then on the back here we've got the cover. We actually do play a spike, as you can see here, right there. And this is sort of how you play the game, so it must explain probably some sort of details um, how to actually play. It's going, it's, trust me, this game is just bizarre. It's hilarious. All right, here's the cover there. Sorry, not the cover, the, uh, the disc, which is a shiny silver disc, you know, the typical one with um, not like a fully colored one, but still pretty cool. And then we have the book, and this is what we're really paying for in essence in many ways. I've actually got a guidebook of this coming very soon. So here's Pippo Saru 2001. Nice cover, nice minimalist cover. Um, Pippo Saru. Yeah. Cool. The back cover there. Oh, cool. Look at that. All right. Anyway, let's take this a look. Let's take a look. So 2001, obviously it came out. Very nice full color uh, introduction here with, with the basically you vacuum up their pants that's what actually happens because like yeah it, it's it's just bizarre like I, and firstly I love this this is like a full render of the first game the event of the first game I just love that has so like the, the context of what happened and stuff and then you know this is after this takes place after it's kind of in the Ape Skip 2 sort of style put the character list here um, Spectre is back, the monkeys, quite, this is sort of the most famous incarnation of the monkeys, like these sort of 3D ones, like that's, it, most people associate that with that. Um, here's this very powerful vacuum cleaner, I'm sure it has like a proper like cool name in it. And then, yeah, pants everywhere, this very pants themed game, this game really is about pants, it's all about pants. It's just as much about pants as it is about monkeys. And then we've got info there's like the world there which is quite cool I haven't never played this game yet I cannot wait to play it I'm really excited um, just such a bizarre sort of thing like it's it's just so it's like when you think of Japan it's like typical Japan you know like it's just a game like this the Ape Escape series I mean so many games weren't released in, in uh, English speaking countries America UK you know Europe stuff like that it basically it's very much a Japan Japanese franchise, which is a really a big shame in my opinion because I would have loved to get the PSP one um, The Saru Saru Master Moves in English. That'd be awesome. I'd love to know like the proper story details We've got more like that Different ways to play different ways to do things and I look hey, actually they're actually using X circle square buttons, so that's gonna be interesting Here's the different um, Things like the one-up lives and all that. It's very different. It's very un Escape as well, though, in many ways. As much as it is like Ape Escape, it is also kind of un like Ape Escape. And the level design is really intriguing as well. Um, oh, that's cool. That's really awesome. Okay. Professor. Ooh, look at these levels. This is gonna be fun. This is gonna be a lot of fun. I wish Soichi Terada did the soundtrack to this. If Soichi did the soundtrack, that would have been. Just amazing. It looks like it says U font. Alright, anyway. And there's that. Oh, what's that? Secret. Oh, oh, oh. And there we go. There's the memory card. Hey, it's got the memory card slot, yeah. Alright, guys, that's it for now. That's it for Pippo Star 2001. We will look at the book in the coming weeks or month, depending on when I get it. Uh, it's exciting. I'm looking forward to showing off that as well, because that's a cool little context thing. But you know, look for look forward to my. I probably will end up doing a let's play of this game at some point. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I shall see you in the next review. See you later. I love how he was in Arrested Development, right? Like the second to last episode when they go, like he's like the Saddam Hussein impersonator, right? Like, that, yeah, he is. He, it's him. Like, it's like uncredited, I believe.